my channel. I hope you have a wonderful day. Here is a pattern on how to cut an overlap fitted gown with a flat sleeve. So now I'm going to start with the upper part, which is using as the half length first. This is the upper part. I'm using 14 and a half for the half cut here. So for the whole length is 57. If you are making use of any fabric, you can make use of five yards because of the stiff. It's a flat stiff. Or it's a VR stiff if you like. So you see the way I'm going to cut it out. So yeah, you're making use of four and a half yards or five yards. If you are making this particular style with the fabric. So now the half cut here I said is 14 inches. This is my half cut. For the neck, I'm doing seven. Seven inches for the neck. Don't forget any measurement I'm taking here, apart from the length, is multiplied by four because I'm folding this fabric the pattern into four so the same type of cable when you're folding a fabric so for the ammo I'm using seven as well for the ammo so the bust I'm using 32 for the bust so using eight so eight into four the bust 32 so this is 32. So you can make the same allowance of an half inch and one and a half inches of same allowance. So for the waist here, I'm using 28. So 28 there by 44 7. So this is my 7 inches. So with a same allowance of one and a half inches. Then I'll sketch it up here. Then like this. Then I cannot cut it out. So, this is the box and the zip allowance. So, this is zip allowance of one and a half inches. You can make it two inches, it depends on how you want it to be. So, now it's an overlap, so or uh, upper part. It's an, it should be an overlap at the upper part. So this is the front and this is the two back. So keeping this aside, I'm going to cut out this front. So taking out the shoulder first. The shoulder here, I'm using four inches for the shoulder. Cutting on 30 inches away, don't forget I use so this is four inches. Don't forget I use seven. So cutting out three inches away for the neck. So from this shoulder, 
I'm going to make a slant line to this space. So, a slant line to the edge here. You can see it. Then, I'm going to cut it out. So this is the shoulder. It depends on how you want the neck to be, how wide you want it to be. So you can decide to make it 3 inches, then you cut out the neck more wider than this, or either way. So using this particular side to cut the other side too. Then it's going to be like this. If you are Taking this, if you are uh, cutting this on the fabric, if this is how you cut the front and the first one, you're going to do it like this for the second one. So it will be of the same side. After when you, when you cut it like this again on the fabric, it's going to be two. It's going to be the same side, like two fronts, which is not supposed to be. So you have to. Do it other way like this to cut out the other side too. You can see the way I place it on it. I didn't place it directly the way I cut it out. The first the way I cut the first one out. So I placed it the other way to cut the other side out. So now I'm going to cut it out. Keep this aside to cut, to cut the straight down part. So using this to cut the fitted down part of it. So this is it. I'm going to fold this into four, leaving the zip allowance. So folding this into four, you can see this is into two, then this is into four. This is the zip allowance. So starting from the up here. The waist, like I said earlier, I said the waist is 28, so it's 7 inches for the waist. The seam allowance of 1.5 inches. So for the hip, when you take your tape from here, from the waist, since I'm using um, 57 for the main, for the full length, it's 57 inches for the full length. So. To determine the hip is 9 inches. I'm going to determine my hip from here. So, assuming what you are cutting does not have an half cut, I want to determine the hip. So, you can take your tape from up, take it to 23 inches. You can see it's the same thing. When you take your tape from up, get it to 23 inches. That's where you're going to determine the hip. So, it's the same thing. So the hip measurement here is 32 for the hip here. So 32 there by 4, 8 inches. So this is my 8 inches. So one and a half inches of seam allowance. So it's here. So I'm going to sketch it like this. Then you cut out from the from 14 here for the half coat. Down to 57 of the length with a seam allowance of an hour, one and a half inches, making uh, 58 and a half. So now I'm going to cut out my sketch. So to the hip here.
this is how it's going to be so you can see it has the slits at the front so the slit is going to be the two the the dart the dart inches the two dart inches so yeah i'm using seven for the dart so because of the distance of the two bust it's seven so that's why you're going to make use when you want to catch the dart of the skirt as well so this is three and a half which is in a seven so you're going to notch it yeah so after that then you open So this is the slit. You can see this is where you're going to catch the that. So, so for the opening at the front, it's at the left side. So it's here. Long they want it to be, so you can make it of any inches of your choice. So yeah, I'm making it of 23 inches. So this is 20 inches from the down to the knee part here. So now I'm going to cut it, cut out the slits. To the knee, then you stop. This is the opening. So you can make it to the lap, it depends on how long you want it to be. You can see the opening here. Using this to cut out the sleeve. I'm going to fold this into four, like a triangle flay, not like a full flay. You see the way I'm going to fold this now. So I'm going to fold this into two first. So this is into two. Now into four. You can see it. This is into four. You can see the way I fold it. You can see the way I fold it into two then into four so after that i'm going to make use of the measurements here my measurements here i'm using 15 so it depends on the sleeve length that you are using it might be 18 it might be 17 but yeah i'm using 15 for the sleeve length so this is 15 This is 15 as well and this is also 15 so so this is it then I'm going to cut out the sketch This is for the two sleeve. You can see it's for the two sleeve. So before I cut it, I'm going to cut this into two. So this is into two. This is for the each sleeve 
So now to cut the upper part, they are going to join to the shoulder. So I'm folding it back. Let me sketch it out for you. Because it's it's a pleated one. Yeah. So for this part, it depends on your ammo. Depend on the ammo that you're dealing with, so it has to be very long, mind you, because it has a pleated part. So let me cut. So let me cut it out for you to see. You can decide to make it more bigger because of the pleating. So, but this particular side, it depends on your ammo. So, by when you take the measurement, this is seven. This is seven from here. So, it should make it more bigger because of the pleating. So, I zoom that tight. That's it. So, and I'll open it to see what I'm talking about. So, we are going to join this to the first one and join this other one to the second part as well. So, let me show it to you. So, you can see how it's going to be after when you join it. This is the overlap half cut. You can see it. And this is the slit at the damp part. And this is the flay I'm talking about. You can see how it is. So, this is where you're going to put your bias. The bias that is showing on this tie. This is where you're going to put it. You're going to put it here and here. Then you put it down here. You can see it. You can see how it is. You can see how fine. So, this particular tutorial was based on the crest by a subscriber so if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like and share bye